Hello and welcome to Arca at New Texas. Modern Texas, Bad Texas, there's a lot of names for this Texas, but it is the <laughs> current form of Texas in the end, no matter what you want to call it. And we are in the Arca car, and I am back after a long break. I uh, actually did some moving and uh, took a bit to get my stuff all sent over. I actually got a new desk because the old one was going to be too problematic to uh, to transfer. So um, rather than race while sitting on the floor, I decided to wait. As painful as it was, I missed some great weeks, some great combos, but I've returned and uh, we're going to jump into qualifying here. We have a number two, um, about 66 people signed up, so this price split just a couple times. Uh, we've got Mike in here. Good to race with him. I wished him good luck. And let's see what else. Um, should be back to racing more often. Um, I've been missing it. I did one practice race at this combo last night, and there was no one really racing. About like 14 people signed up or something like that. And I did a rookie Mazda race, and now this is the first recording, so. Um, I'm almost definitely going to be a little rusty. Got to get used to my new quote-unquote cockpit <laughs> desk and uh, get back into the swing of things, but feeling pretty good. And I definitely didn't want to miss this week here at Texas because it's my fault we're all here <laughs> in the ARCA car. Uh, it was my suggestion for the ARCA schedule to come here this season. Uh, it looks like Arca hadn't been here in a while, and I do actually like Texas. Both versions of it, both old and new, despite the fact most people do not. So I'm like, hey, let's go back here. Haven't been there in a while. I think it was like 2020 the last time Arca was at New Texas, so I gave the suggestion. And it found its uh, found a spot on the calendar, and here we are. So I'm glad I was able to make my way here. So it looks like second lap's better than the first. That's the first time I've ever had a 30.7. And uh, as of right now, at least, that is a pole time. Sweet beans. Mike was faster than me in the uh, <laughs> beforehand practice. He sniped my fastest lap in the open practice before, uh, just before session started and I shook my fist angrily at the sky. <laughs> so maybe I can, uh, unless he's doing a second lap that's like 30.5 or something, maybe I uh, took it back, haha, <laughs> with an all-time best. Actually, it wasn't an all-time best, was it? It was about, uh, what is that, tenths, hundredths of a second, about a hundredth of a second off. But 3.7. I don't run that with uh, too much consistency, so I'm glad I was able to pull that out of my hat for the race. Um, I'm curious how this one's going to evolve over time. Uh, I've heard that the right rear can get worn. People have been dealing with the right rear, because this is after the setup change. I heard they got the wrong setup in at the start of the week. I did not get to experience that, which is probably for the best. So we got a little looser of a setup the correct setup, and uh, I'm happy. I obviously much prefer a looser setup, so looks like we still got a handful of people we're waiting on. We got someone that's not even here, so we're going to have to wait the full minute and a half, but uh, good to be back for sure. I am, uh, this gives me a good time, uh, chance to talk a little bit, I am going to be participating in Nick's Season zero of uh, his league. I'm very excited. Um, I was able to, you know, uh, make a deal with my manager, Finagle, <laughs> get Sundays um, off. Um, not less off than, you know, adjust my schedule so that I could, you know, be available for those Sunday races. So I do uh, hope to show up for 
each of those races, even though I know lots of people are going to want to be in there. And uh, you got to qualify your way in too, which might not be so easy, considering it's a short track, because they're doing short tracks, and the late model I think he is doing for the Season Zero, kind of like a test um, series, kind of just trying things out. Um, but he hopes to continue the league into the future, and that's really fun and exciting. I've never been part of a league before, so uh, it'll be really fun to uh, join into those and uh, do some points racing. Should be interesting for sure. But it looks like our pull time is gonna hang in there. That's the end of the session. Nice. All positions. Well done, mate. And uh, we'll hopefully get a nice launch. See what we can do out here. That practice race I uh, did, just getting my feet under me again, um, I was able to win, but like I said, there was like 12 people in there. It was like below 2,000 strength of field. And the only other person in there that was near my I rating decided to start in the back and then also had some trouble early on. So I'm not sure um, in a stronger field what my pace is going to be like. Um, it's one thing to hot lap and another thing to do 35 good laps. So I will do my best. Try to get some rotation on entry and not too much rotation through the center of either corner. Don't want to heat that right rear up too much, though you want to be on the right rear. You don't want to be going crazy with it. The uh, first race I ended with, I want to say it was like 58.60 or something like that. So just kill both tires. <laughs> that was my plan, apparently, is kill both tires. Maybe I'll try to be a little less on the right front this time, but I think that might be the way to go. Try to be on that right front a little bit. It's kind of what I've heard people talking about. So that way later in a run, you've still got some uh, grip off the corner and such. Not sure. I'm going to just do my best. Hopefully can uh, keep it in the top five, keep it clean. Um, right now, just finishing decently finishing a nice solid race feels good to me so i can get back into the swing of things no it sounds like kind of silly there, like right? oh wow right three weeks how do you even remember which pedals which but it really is like a, a rhythm thing um it feels like a long time whenever you're out of the out of the seat for that long especially when i'm used to racing like every day or at least every other day so I'm going to be doing a first gear start. One to go. Next time by, line up on the inside. Close. I will keep it in second so it's not as droning. I'm back on good internet. Very good internet. It's super fast. I love it. Got my Ethernet cable. I had lost it for a bit. Got it back uh, during the move. It didn't initially come with me, <laughs> it looked like. But uh, got that all figured out. Uh, so I've, I've got uh, everything set up for the internet, good fast speeds. And hey, maybe my car will have good fast speeds too. At least I won't be blinking, at the very least. So. All right, probably going to do an early-ish jump. Again, first gear. I'm going to switch over here in a moment. And uh, hopefully be clear by turn one so I can take it how I want. About to go green. Stay focused. So the pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. A little bit of tire spin, interestingly. Start there, but not too bad. Oof. Pretty slidey on these cold tires. Only had to feather it a bit. Get that figured out. Try to be brave here. 
really brave at all. That wasn't even a good corner. <laughs> but, oh well. Uh, session last lap. I should have that up. That'll help me. I'll be aggressive with the throttle. Where it is uh, necessary. That felt good on the right rear. I like it. The guy behind has just done a 30.9. Eh, I chickened out a little bit halfway through the corner. I probably could have kept on the throttle a little bit and continued with the rotation, but got a little bit nervous. Thought I was getting a little too close to the white line down there. Got some smoke. I guess some people have had problems near the back. We did pretty long to get back on the gas there. Probably could have been a little bit more aggressive. A little bit loose down there. Gonna be smooth. Got a long way to go, but uh, can't get too complacent because I know Mike is back there ready to uh, pounce if I make a mistake. And uh, it would be nice to not have to try to get around him again later if I can keep this track position. like to keep that a little lower and to uh, counter steer a bit and uh, chase it up the track you've just done a 31.0 gotten on the gas a little bit sooner but doing okay we got about half a second we're working with Kind of trying to balance it on that razor's edge through three and four. Very fun corner. Um, thing, what I like about Texas, which I'm sure people might be wondering, why on earth do you like this this garbage? <laughs> I like how uh, you have to be careful in turns one and two, lift off, and in some cars hit the brakes even, and uh, not overdrive it. And I like how. If you are nice to the tires in 1 and 2, it can pay off with some extra grip and therefore extra speed in 3 and 4. So it's like the uh, the corners play off of each other in that way, and I, I like that dynamic. And we've got two separate kinds of corners, obviously. Take them different ways. And it's just, I enjoy um, mile and a half where you have to brake. You don't have to do it in, with this setup. You did with the bad setup at the start of the week, apparently. <laughs> but uh, don't really have to hit the brakes until potentially late in a run here. And uh, but what I'm trying to say is I do enjoy my own house where you have to do that. So that plays in this place's favor as well. You know, for example, Nashville Super Speedway is another one where you have to hit the brakes, despite the fact it's a 1.3 mile track. I enjoy that. And uh, then you got three and four, which is like a real fun razor's edge, classic mile and a half kind of corner. So you got a little bit of uh, the best of both worlds here. And I don't know, maybe I'm biased just because I've had success here in the past on both versions of the track. So maybe that's shaping my whole world outlook <laughs> for this place. But uh, those are my thoughts on it and why I like it. Thankfully, it looks like we're um, going away a bit. Hopefully not at the expense of the tires. I feel like I'm doing an alright job of keeping it on the right rear and keeping it steady as well. That was a great corner. It was very much on the edge. Felt pretty good. Oh, it's so good to be back, though. I tell you what. I tell you what. A little shallow on entry through that corner. 
I'm not going to get the runoff I would like. But it's great to be back. Great track to come back to here in Arca. Um, got next week, that's right, next week, we have the first ever official Arca race on Dirt Oval. Uh, we're heading to Knoxville, which is pretty uh, exciting. I'm excited to be a part of that. Um, Real Life Arca runs dirt races multiple times in their schedules, and so when building the schedule, well, initially we were asking, like, should we alternate? Each uh, season have one road course, and then the next season have a dirt track, and then uh, back and forth, you know, do a pattern, and uh, that was the initial question. It was... Uh, Nick McNeven that had suggested it. He's a big part of those discussions and putting together the schedule, which anybody can do, by the way, if you didn't know. I mentioned it before, but it's a great thing. And uh, he's a big part of that discussion, putting the schedule together. And uh, I kind of voted, hey, let's have one of each. I think that we should celebrate the variety of the ARCA schedule. The fact that, why are my frames dropping? The fact that, you know, we've got um, all kinds of different kinds of racing in ARCA. And if you look proportionally at the real life... Okay, these frames are messy with me. This is not helping at all. What's happening? Why is my computer trying to sabotage me? It's kind of hard to hit my very precise marks whenever I'm watching a slideshow. Um, if it could stop any time, it'd be great. Anyway, <laughs> my, uh, my, uh, suggestion was, you know, let's do one of each. Proportionally, the real-life schedule, you know, this much of the schedule is dedicated to either road courses or dirt tracks, and even with one of each in our ARCA schedule, proportionally, it's actually less, so. We talked about, you know, it was good, dis good discussions from all kinds of people chiming in, getting a vote. We ended up doing a vote and decided that it would be good to have one of each. And uh, decided it was a good idea to try giving Arca on Dirt a chance. All right now it is just, a, just that, just a chance. Now we're going to give it a couple seasons, see how it works. And if it's just an utter disaster... Well, that'd be very unfortunate, but um, understandably, we're not going to keep it on there if it's just a horrible time every time. But hopefully, it, will, it won't be. Hopefully, we'll um, better replicate the real world schedule and uh, have a different kind of race to look forward to each season. I'm not going to be particularly good at it. Dirt Oval's my worst iRacing discipline, easily. So. Oh, Mike's catching up to me, man. Since the frames were back, I've kind of been off rhythm. Take a second to get back into it if I can. Get real loose there. Okay, deep breath. Get focused again. That lap time was 32.1. But hopefully the uh, the dirt tracks will become a yearly tradition, or you know a staple of the. Uh, oh God, this guy's getting loose in front of me, man. Why is he swerving all over the track? Okay, Hunter, that's half distance. Fuel levels are fine. That lap was at 32.1. Outside. Clear outside if you want to. Oops. That did not help me. I will say that. That did not help me at all. Looks like Mike's stealing with him as well. I don't know how much it's affecting him back there, but... It's looking like Mike's gonna catch me. I will try to prevent this. <laughs> but I'm not so sure. We got a lot of time to go. And he's uh, doing a fine job of catching up. So, yeah, lots to look forward to. Future Arca, and now Arca. <laughs> Just 
just gotta get back to being smooth here. Make sure I'm hitting my line. Not doing just done too well. Alright, game to tenth back for now. See if that holds. This is gonna be a tough one to hold on to, I think. He's he's lurking. Killed my run off there. I got a little bit too aggressive on throttle. This is getting intense. I think I gotta focus on not overdriving entry into one and two so I can get my run off that I need. That momentum that you get coming off of one and two, it almost carries all the way around the track in a way. Uh, not completely. That's good but. consistency. Keep it up. Dad, he's gonna pass me. I'm not holding on to this thing as well as he is later in the run. I'm obviously not gonna give up, but it's not looking good for me. Better than last lap there. We're coming to 10 to go. If I can just avoid making any major mistakes, I might be able to prevent him from passing. Got 10 left to go. I don't know though, he's <laughs> point one behind me now. Oh, it's so Oh, he got the wall. He got the wall. He didn't lose too much time though. But he got the wall. If I can avoid doing the same. That might have been a big changing point for this race. Tried to drive through the looseness there, but it still got a bit too sideways and lost me some time. You've just done a 32.5. The lab car's getting loose ahead of us. Nah, I don't need to see that. That's not what I need to see in my big windshield. Track. Oh, goodness. Please give me bottom. The lap time was at 32.6. You are my hero, whoever you are that I can't check right now. I don't even want to like reach over and hit the <laughs> mic or anything right now either. Because I am very focused.
Ooh, a pretty good one and two right there. I like it. He's able to carry some speed through there that time. It's pretty good speed. Oh, it's on such a razor's edge right now. Five to go. Five. Five to go. So much rotation. Definitely uh, have been on the right rear. So, very happy that we have ourselves at least set up. I took that too easy. Took three and four too easy there. I should have pushed a little harder. Man, he's still there though. It's one. He, I'm one mistake away from losing this thing. Still, it's far, far from. Over. There you can see all that green from me not pushing hard enough the first or the last lap through. Ooh, this is some sweaty racing. Got tight. That's not good. I drove in too hard. That's gonna be almost a tenth I lose right there, and I don't have very many of those to s to, to spare. It's back to only a tenth behind. We got two laps to go. I'm so scared. Two laps to go. Two to go. Colton, two laps left. Your P1. That last lap was at 32.7. Good consistency. That was another bad corner. That was not good. He's coming. Oh no. Real nice work. This I'm gonna be upset with this lap car feed. He becomes a problem. I think Mike got tight at the end of the corner there. One more lap. Keep it together. We'll win this. Easy on the throttle, just can't make any mistakes. All right, we got it. Woo! Silly today. I'm muted. I don't think anyone's talking now. I doubt it. I guess I don't really have any way knowing that, but. Oh boy, that was a great race. Definitely gonna send uh, my great race message after this one. That was fun. <laughs> Speak with the engine. Alright, I'll take a little bit of a victory lap for that one. I had to work hard holding Mike off. He's a good competitor. Okay, the race Woo! Is going to bring it on in. <laughs> ah, yes. I'm a Texas defender. Deal with it. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. I was the number two car. Take, take it easy. <laughs> So, what were the tires? Doesn't matter, it didn't burn out. <laughs> of course. But uh, probably not too much different from here. Probably shaved a couple percentages off. But probably pretty similar to my uh, last race. Uh, where I had 58, 60. It looks just about there. Maybe pushed a little bit harder trying to run away from Mike. And uh, thankfully we were able to get it done. That was a fun race. So... We uh, got the pole. We're able to keep that spot for the majority, or the you know the uh, entirety of the race. That guy's last name is near where I live. And let's take a look at the incidents. I got on the limiter a little bit <laughs> at the start there. 
probably could have done a little bit better with that, but oh well. Alright, what we got? Got someone. That's not even anything. That was a pretend hit of the wall. Two white through the quad oval and. Ooh. Oh no, that's a big mess. Not maybe about three, four people, but still pretty big. Um, hmm. So, who's at fault for this one? We've got some quad oval action going on. I'm thinking the 12 probably needed to give a little bit more room there. Mm, it's tough. Both could have given a little bit more room, probably. I don't know. Maybe that 18 pinched a little bit too much. Yeah, maybe that's it. Hard to say. It's It can be tough going through there, for sure. And then, unfortunately, we got some innocent bystanders as well coming in here. Whoa! 13 parts to seize. <laughs> she makes it through. And, uh, unfortunately, the number six also gets caught up. I think he might be a, a viewer of either Nick or Gavin. So it's fortunate to see that. Some weird checkups going on there. Cigarette car into the inside wall. Oh, he hit that at a bad angle. I think the 18 was watching him and almost spun out himself. You can definitely see. Uh, some loose moments and some wall hits with how on edge this, uh, this car can be. Send a message to Mike real quick. I think he, uh, he isn't able to do chat, so I have to send him a message on Discord. <laughs> I'm, saying, uh, I'm just saying, great race, car was such a handful late. The run. It's tough to hold you off. Alright, so let's continue with the incident. Sorry for the pause. 19's getting that wall pretty good. But outside being on the outside of someone in that uh in the any any trioval really quad oval can be deceptively dangerous. Got the nine. Looks like they might be pushing up on exit. That's a pretty hefty hit. Twin, he's losing it. We've had a little bit of trouble already, I think. Ugh, oh, and that's a KO. Heard that engine explode. Taco Bell into the wall. Ooh, just barely. <laughs> he needs a lot of wheel in that thing. Sliding it out of the corner. Looks like Mike might be getting up into the wall there. I remember seeing that. That might have been the difference. Who knows? You know? We were, uh... I mean, it was only a two-tenth uh, difference at the end there. Yeah, I make a mistake like that. Maybe he gets around me. Almost just gotta be perfect when you're racing against high level competition like that. Whoa! Oh no, that stinks. Just uh, smacked that wall real hard and never really gathered it up again. So they get off the track real quick. It looks like that was it. So, how's that for a. Uh... <laughs> First race back on the channel. Um, first race back off the channel was a win as well, and it looked a lot like that. But this is a stronger field, and I uh, had a great race trying to keep Mike in the rearview mirror, and thankfully we were able to do it. No easy task, so I feel pretty good about that one, and I hope you enjoyed watching. It was uh, some sweaty racing, <laughs> so I had a lot of fun, and uh, good racing with Mike as always, and uh, I will see you next time then. I promise it'll be... Well, I don't promise. I don't know what's going to happen, but um, all intentions 
<laughs> for it to be not in three weeks this time. So uh, stay tuned if you are interested. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time. See ya.